came back here in the early days, Nashville burned coal. <laughs> so his hat would be black by the time he got home, he'd have to buy a new hat. But when dad would come to record in Nashville, he'd get a suite at the old Andrew Jackson Hotel and people, song pluggers, would come up and plug songs to dad, try to pitch dad's song. Yeah. They were paid $50 a week. They're still here, ladies and gentlemen, pitching songs at $50 a week all these years later. But these two guys walked up to dad into dad's suite and pitched him this song. My dad says, I hate that dang song. You two idiots get the heck out of here. Part of the reason why the dad didn't like the song is the two guys that pitched it to him. They were stoned, uh -oh. ripped to the gills on the wacky weed. It was Roger Miller and Willie Nelson. <laughs> dad didn't want to return the guitar down to the monitor. Anyway, so dad didn't want the next day, dad went to the studio and Bradley says, you know, you really ought to cut that song. He says, I think it's a hit. Dad said, I ain't gonna do it. Owen said, either you cut it, or I'm going to drop you from the label. All right, what key do you want it in then? <laughs> the song went on to become a number one country record in 1964 for 18 weeks. It was also a top five rock and roll record. Times have changed. Wow. See if you remember. <clears throat> Sun don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Sun don't go near the Indians, please stay away. When I was just a little boy, I liked to roam the hills And to hear wild stories about the Indians was my biggest thrill I'd shout and yell and holler like them old moccasins on my feet And I'd make believe I was under a teeth every time I prepared to sleep Sun don't go Please do what I say. My hair was shit black and I was 21. Lots of pretty girls around. But the pale face maidens didn't thrill me none around my Cochise County hometown. One day while I was up there by Shadow Creek, stood a beautiful lady in the fetching water and I just had to speak. She smiled at me, then quickly ran, but the next day she returned. And it wasn't very long before I told this day to have the love in my heart burn. Sun don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Sun don't go near the Indians, please do what I say. For the hand of no belief Dad's trembling lips spoke softly As he told me of my life As then he said I could never take this place For my wife Dad said, son When you were born The white man and the Indian were a fight And a brave named Yellow Sun Scalped and murdered my little boy so for revenge, I stole you, his son. Now, son, I want you to know that I love you as much as my own little fellow that's dead. And I've raised you just like you were my own boy. But you see, son, that's why I've always said, please, please don't go near the Indians. Because, son, Novali is your sister. That's some pretty terrible stuff right there, you know. <laughs> That's why I've always said, Oh, we know it, 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 please do what I say. Now we're going to do one more dance. This is kind of an obscure one. Uh, 